dear finance professionals and students welcome to podcast of fca deepak rao a practicing chartered accountant daily news and updates for 20th november 2024 The microfinance sector in India is witnessing a surge in bad loans reaching an 18 month high of 11.6% in September quarter. This raises concerns about overleveraging and has prompted warnings from regulators. Small finance banks are among the worst hit with a bad loan ratio exceeding 15%. Collateral free credit given by banks or non-banks to low income households those with annual income of less than rupees 3 lakh is treated as microfinance loans women are the primary beneficiaries of such loans the ministry of finance through the central board of direct taxes or cbdt has issued a circular which essentially condones delay in filing form number 9a 10 10b and 10bb for assessment year 2018-19 and subsequent assessment years this means if you have missed the deadline to file these forms then you may do so now without any repercussions provided you satisfy the conditions as laid down by the law all of these forms relate to trust and educational institutions while form 10b and 10bb relate to tax audits by chartered accountant report Forms 9A and 10 are used to get relief from income tax. CBDT through another circular issued on the same date has decided to condone delay in filing form 10IC or form 10ID. These forms are used by domestic companies for applying for lower rate of income tax. India could face a massive shortage of air conditioners and refrigerators in the summer of 2025 as the national standards body has refused to recertify the factories of more than 50 component suppliers in China as well as Vietnam fearing Chinese supplies might be rerouted through the Southeast Asian nation The Bureau of Indian Standards or BIS certification of factories of manufacturers including component makers is compulsory under government rules. The appliance makers termed the decision as unexpected and said it needed calibration for such import substitution. Even as a BIS official said the move was aimed at promoting local manufacturing. The Reserve Bank of India and banks are developing a standard procedure for vehicle seizures when borrowers default on loans. This initiative follows reports of forceful vehicle seizures including cargo. Banks are internally advising recovery teams to adhere to RBI guidelines. The government emphasizes that borrowers should not face harassment during loan recovery. Under existing RBI guidelines Financial institutions and their recovery agents cannot call borrowers before 8 in the morning and after 7 in the evening. The guidelines further mandate that regulated entities and their recovery agents shall not resort to intimidation or harassment of any kind either verbal or physical against any person in their debt collection efforts including acts intended to humiliate publicly or intrude upon the privacy of the debtors or their guarantors family members this podcast is sponsored by sound of ca we share because we care vande mataram jai hind